the 1997 Century, an all-new design both inside and out that provides the standard safety, comfort, and convenience features at a price that satisfies the practicality of the buyers in the mid-size class. Hello, my name's Peter Carey for Buick Product Master. In this special program, we're going to focus on the all-new 1997 Buick Century. You're going to hear about how this all-new vehicle satisfies a wide range of mid-size buyer needs. We'll also provide a focused Century walk-around, divided into specific customer benefit categories that you can use to shape your own targeted presentations. And finally, we'll look at the competition and how Century matches up against some of its key mid-size competitors, finishing with a special Century versus the Competition segment with Bob Strange. First, let's talk about the specific mid-size buyer needs that Century was designed to meet. Century is designed for customers who want practical and affordable transportation with a touch of luxury. Their cars must seat six passengers. A large trunk is also right at the top of their needs list. They want performance and a smooth ride. They respect a manufacturer that's been around a long time. And if they had to choose between fuel economy and a powerful engine, well, fuel economy would win. The Century was designed responding to a customer's broad range of needs you know, for their vehicle. It also was designed with a focus, a specific focus of meeting the specific customer values in this particular market. We saw a real challenge here, how we could in fact come up with a design that was appealing to this loyal buyer of the past, and there's some two million century buyers out there today, and how in fact could this design also be appealing to this new buyer that perhaps didn't consider Buick in the past. And it's this overall design challenge that we really stepped up to. Century customers are practical. They're looking to get the most for their money, and they expect quality and value in return. They keep their cars for years. They purchase rather than lease. They expect a lot of standard features for the money, and they appreciate a vehicle that is inexpensive to maintain. Low cost of ownership is a key purchase motivator. That said, the best way to present Century to these customers is to first ask customers what matters to them most. Is it value, safety, performance, interior roominess? Regardless of the answer, you have a story to tell. Let's start our walk around with value and Century's extensive list of standard features. Here's just a sample of what's new and standard for 1997. There's all new styling, a look that car and driver described as sleek and handsomely sculpted. The interior is all new and the largest in the midsize class. There's an all new chassis and four wheel independent suspension. Also new and standard for 1997 are dual airbags, remote keyless entry, memory door locks, interior air filtration system, and battery rundown protection, just to name a few. Add to that standard list four-wheel anti-lock brakes and daytime running lamps. These are all premium features standard on Century at a very affordable price. A price, by the way, that's lower than a comparably equipped Taurus, Camry, or Accord. But a long list of standard features is only part of the value story. An inexpensive, hassle-free ownership experience is another way to define value. So service after the sale is critical. Century meets that need with premium roadside assistance for the first three years or 36,000 miles of ownership. That includes free lockout, dead battery, and out of fuel assistance, and free flat tire change service. Prospects will also appreciate Century's extended life spark plugs, extended life coolant and transmission fluid, and a larger capacity battery. Point these features out. They're what say value to the Century customer. When it comes to performance, you have another strong story to tell. The standard 3100 V6 is powerful, generating 160 horsepower, and it's sophisticated with standard sequential fuel injection. The four-wheel independent suspension is specifically tuned to provide the right balance between smooth ride and responsive handling. Century features an isolated rear suspension with enhanced rubber mounts that help suppress road noise. Power steering is standard on custom with magnetic variable assist steering standard on limited. Century performance can be best described as an entire package of features. A responsive and reliable powertrain, a correctly tuned suspension, 
the right kind of steering system, all coordinated to work together to provide a pleasant driving experience. Century's comfort and convenience story can be summed up in one phrase, customer oriented. Typically, we've always done the designs from the outside in. Instead, they decided, why don't we start where the customer actually is going to sit, package his headroom, his legroom, and making sure we have a good customer package first and then design the car around that package. When we started working on this model, we wanted to make sure that we kept the design as simple and clean as possible. And simplicity was the key word that we were focusing on. Simplicity of control, simplicity of forms and shapes, making sure everything was in a good location, very convenient, open, easy to see, easy to reach, making sure that we had a contemporary, fresh design that would stay and be long-lasting. I mentioned that this interior is the largest in its class, with all the amenities that buyers expect to find. The first thing you notice are the seats. They're designed to support and comfortably fit a wide range of drivers, anyone from five feet to six foot five inches tall. We wanted to maximize the amount of travel for each driver. For instance, the fifth percentile, we wanted her to be able to pull up as close as she could, so we maximized the forward movement. And also for the 95th, for that six foot five man, he could pull that seat as far back as he could possibly push it without running into the rear seat. Looking out the windshield, you notice the enhanced visibility. The instrument panel has been repositioned to increase the field of view. The A-pillars are narrow and don't get in the way. The gauges and controls are easy to read and easy to reach, reducing the need for drivers to take their eyes off the road. The next thing you notice is all the room. Century will comfortably seat six adults, and those in back have more leg room because the front seat backs are recessed and they don't intrude as much on knees and shins. Those in back also benefit from theater seating. The special thing that was done on the rear seat was making sure that the rear customer felt very high in the seat in order to see over past the driver and also the passenger in the front seat and out through the window. So we call that theater seating. Century's door openings are also larger this year, making entering and exiting the vehicle easier. Another example of Century's customer-oriented design philosophy. We also wanted to make sure that the header was high enough so when he would try to get out of that car that he could swing his head out comfortably, as well as the rocker. We lowered that rocker down quite a bit and tried to get that as thin as we could so our customer would be able to swing their leg over quite easily. Century is a vehicle for and about families with a host of features in place to help keep passengers and drivers safe and secure. They include safety features that may not be recognized as such by the average customer. I mentioned improved outward visibility, improved door-mounted controls and instrumentation illumination. Well, Century also features enhanced side impact protection, a collapsible steering column, and breakaway engine mounts. Here's a safety feature you can show customers, the optional integral child rear safety seat. It's located in the middle of the rear seat, the safest place in the vehicle. Just fold down the inset and a small child can ride in comfort and safety. Each rear seat belt also has a special guide that can adjust to provide optimum protection for children. Another area critical to Century Prospects is quality. Some of the attention to detail for quality in this particular design was in the overall fit and finish of the vehicle. The metal's construction of the side of the vehicle has been stamped out of a one-piece metal. And so we have a large die that basically stamps out that body side frame. By doing that, we have less variation. The single-piece door ring gives a repeatability, a quality of fit from car to car. So every century that we serve up out there meets a standard from a repeatability of fit and finish. Quietness many times is perceived as quality, and this vehicle serves up a, a significant step forward in the overall quietness of the cabin. We wanted to win the flag of having the most quiet vehicle we could design. In an armored door opening of any car, you've got to have some amount of rubber seals to keep the wind noise and the rain you know, out of, the, out of the, the water out of the vehicle. What we've done is actually put what we call, refer to as triple door seals. Uh, and basically what we have is three sets of seals that go around the door opening, some of which are mounted on the door, some of which are mounted on the body, 
in an effort to maximize the sealing characteristics of the door to body relationship when you shut the door. Our motivation was quietness. What does quality mean to Century buyers? A solid, quiet ride, free of wind noise and rattles. In fact, car and driver called Century's interior spectacularly quiet and the chassis solid and flex-free. Bottom line, the Century is designed to deliver world-class quality. In this segment, we're going to look at the competition. First, we'll focus on the Ford Taurus, then we'll cover Accord and Camry in a separate segment with Bob Strange. Over the last few years, Taurus has emerged as a volume leader in the midsize market. However, its recent redesign has been met with a somewhat negative response, including many current or former owners displeased with the new Taurus design. In focus groups conducted with selected midsize owners, the Century was compared against Taurus in several key areas. Exterior styling, comfort, roominess, performance, ride and handling, and value. The result? Taurus came up short against Century in each category. For example, the group loved Century's new look, describing it as attractive, clean, and modern. In comparison, Taurus almost looks awkward. Focus group participants went as far as to describe the Taurus front end as having a fish mouth appearance. Not a very flattering image for a $20,000 car. Taurus's interior was a sore point in both appearance and function. It's not exactly user friendly, and customers noted that it really took some getting used to. The seats are smaller, the seat controls are less convenient to use, and the radio controls are somewhat difficult to read and operate. They also complained about the lack of room. The interior has almost a closed-in claustrophobic feel. It's pretty apparent that the interior was sacrificed to gain that rather daring exterior shape. Century's inside-out design was clearly preferred. Let's talk convenience. Does Taurus have adequate trunk and cargo space? Not according to this group of midsize owners. And the EPA figures prove that. Century has an extra cubic foot of space in the trunk. And here's an excellent feature that Taurus doesn't offer. Notice how the Century's trunk opens. These gas struts support the deck lid, allowing for more usable space in the trunk. Taurus's hinge design actually reduces the amount of usable trunk space. When comparing performance, Taurus also suffered criticism. Focus group participants noted that Century offered smoother and more responsive acceleration. Century benefits from greater horsepower and torque, both at lower RPMs. Century also enjoyed ride and handling advantages with available magnetic variable assist steering and an overall smoother ride with the ability to absorb bumpy surfaces thanks to its four-wheel independent suspension. This is a car that needs to be experienced by your customers during a test drive get them in this vehicle. What about value? Once again, Century excels versus Taurus with a base MSRP approximately $1,200 less than Taurus. Century also offers these standard features not available or that cost extra on Taurus. ABS, remote keyless entry, pass key 2, and daytime running lamps. So what's the bottom line? Taurus seems to be relying only on its uniqueness to appeal to customers, and as a result, falls short of buyer expectations. Century, meanwhile, identified a specific market, listened to its needs, and designed a vehicle that met those needs. Now, let's take a minute to review Accord and Camry versus Century. Facing off against two of the world's most popular sedans is a tough challenge, but when we stacked up the all-new 1997 Buick Century Custom against the 1997 Honda Accord LX and Toyota Camry LE, we found that Century offers advantages in critical areas for a mid-size sedan against both cars. Advantages in styling, with an inviting all-new design, superior comfort with more passenger room, a comfortable advantage in standard power, plus the genuine value that comes from offering more for your customers' money. Our three-way matchup begins on the outside with styling. Where Century is strikingly new, Accord is essentially unchanged. Camry actually features an all-new design for 1997, but the difference is very subtle. 
It's easy to see why the automotive press is starting to question the stylistic sameness of many import sedans. Performance is another area where Century stands out against the Accord and Camry. Both the Accord LX and Camry LE feature four-cylinder engines with automatic transmissions. When you compare horsepower and torque ratings for these four-cylinder engines to Century Custom Standard 3100 V6, Buick delivers an advantage of more than 20% in both areas. Stepping up to a V6 power plant in the Accord LX costs about $2,660 more in MSRP. On Camry, the V6 adds over $2,300 to the MSRP of the LE. Building on that value theme, Century offers the security of remote keyless entry as standard equipment. On Camry LE, it's a $440 cost option. On Honda, it's not even available. Moving on to comfort, Century owns another major advantage inside over both these popular imports. Overall interior roominess. Century has more shoulder room, both front and rear. Century also has more rear leg room. Plus, Century features theater seating for additional passenger comfort. Century also has a larger trunk than either Accord or Camry. Bob Strange has some additional thoughts on how these cars match up, areas that your prospects need to hear about and experience firsthand. There are some significant ride and handling issues that need to be kept in mind when selling against the Camry and the Accord. First of all, both cars seem to be very handling oriented, and by that I mean the uh, suspension systems are relatively stiff uh, at the expense of ride. When you get into the steering, the steering on both cars is very tight. There's a very tight feel to them. The steering on the Century is not quite as crisp a feel, but it's much more linear, much more balanced feeling, I think, on the steering system. Specifically on the Camry, Toyota has changed the steering system significantly for this year. It is now an engine speed sensing system instead of a vehicle speed sensing system. And it's just not quite as linear. There's not a very natural feel to the steering this year. Now, both cars have fully independent suspension systems, but they are very different, especially from the Century, in terms of feel. Both felt very harsh when going over bumps, and I think that's a significant difference between the vehicles. Specifically, the Accord's wishbone suspension has almost a, a bobbing and jarring feel when going over any bumps in the road. The Century's four-wheel independent suspension, as I mentioned earlier, has very good balance as far as the handling is concerned. Now, one important thing to keep in mind is that ride is also a function of interior comfort. It's not just the suspension system. It's the overall feel to the customer that we're looking at here. One thing that's very obvious in the Century when you get in is the interior room. It's a very roomy, spacious vehicle inside. The seats are also something that I think are important to notice. The seats in the Century really do a good job of conforming to your body. When you're talking about the Accord and the Camry, the seats are, are just like their suspension in some respects. They're relatively stiff. It's almost as if you sit on top of the seat instead of uh, sinking down in them and being supported by them. Another issue is just the overall feel of the interior in terms of a quality issue. I think the Century has a very quality feel, very ergonomic. The controls are very user friendly, uh, very easy to get used to quickly. The Honda has uh, a very plasticky feel to the dashboard and the way the controls are oriented in the panel, they're not quite as easy to use. One other thought specifically on the Honda Accord and going along with this economy feel in the Honda is that there wasn't any ABS, which was very surprising to me actually. That's right, Bob. Although ABS is standard on Century, it's an $850 cost option on Accord. One more Century advantage. Now, let's review key Century advantages against both competitors. New styling, superior comfort, both seating and roominess, and V6 performance. The Accord and Camry had slight handling advantages, but the Century offered superior ride. And don't forget, ABS is standard on Century, but an $850 cost option on Honda Accord LX. Finally, if you equip the Accord LX and Camry LE with V6 engines, their respective MSRPs exceed the Century Custom MSRP by over $4,000. And that's a very large advantage for the 1997 century.
Now you have the complete story. The 1997 Century is poised to become a major player in the midsize market. It has all the attributes that buyers want, including competitive advantages in styling, comfort and convenience, performance and quality. You have a unique opportunity to keep your loyal Century owners and Conquest competitive owners now and well into the 21st century.